spring ends abruptly and two weeks later you go from learning an offense and having things kind of stopped and paused to uh, now having a pretty fierce quarterback competition. Just what was your initial reaction to everything back in late March, early April when, uh, again, everything kind of paused, obviously, when this all started and, and then Anthony committing? Uh, yeah, obviously it was an unfortunate situation getting shut down, but um, coming into it, you know, we, Coach Chris Ball and all the other coaches, you know, we sat down and talked about, you know, what's going to be best for the team and we had to bring a competition in here to, in order to create a competition in the quarterback room to make everybody better. Um, so wasn't really shocked um, after that, after the spring, but just knowing that, you know, what our work in the offseason was going to mean and how I was going to prepare myself and, and the guys around me to get better was going to be crucial. Coach Moorhead was talking even back in the spring about just the differences in this offense, and mm -hmm. uh, he really addressed head on what, what fans have been clamoring for for a while, which is more quarterback runs. Uh, we got to see you do a little bit of that early in spring. How much more quarterback run is involved? We've seen even the option run game, it looks like, uh, in the more traditional sense. Uh, how much more of a quarterback run, and how much the, do you think you bring to the table in that regard? Uh, yeah, definitely more than last year. We're definitely uh, mixing it up a little bit. There's always stuff on the table for, for what can um, be best for the offense. You know, I'm obviously told the coaches, and I've, I feel like this offseason that my, you know, my speed and agility has is, is definitely increased, and I feel comfortable running in any situation between the tackles on the edge. Um, whatever whatever is needed for the team, to be honest, I think Moorhead has the the capability to do what whatever is necessary. But you know, it definitely is going to be a little bit more, um, you know, obviously than than last year. And I'm just excited to see how how it kind of meshes together. How would you just describe your comfort level with this new offense, and um, maybe how does that compare to this point in fall camp to previous two years here? Yeah, I honestly feel a lot more comfortable with it than uh, maybe in the offense in the past, just because. You know, I spent a lot of time in the off season with the, the amount of off time we had, just studying the playbook, getting with uh, Coach Housewright, Coach Costa, and Coach Moorhead, um, just trying to, to get as far as I, as I can in the playbook for when we do go through these installs in the fall that I'm not surprised by anything, and I already kind of have a base understanding of it. Um, and a lot of that comes with lonely work and, and repetitions with some of the wide receivers. Um, and I felt like, you know, going into it, granted with the, all the time and, and resources that we had, uh, I felt like, you know, I had no regrets, and I did everything I could to put me in a position to – to come into, into this battle and come into the fall ready to play. When Anthony committed, like, did you know who he was? Like, had you seen any of his games at BC just on TV? Like, did you go look him up or anything? And then you also said a great friendship there. Just what's that look like? Just two guys competing for a position and just your, your friendship. Yeah. Um, no, I, I had no prior knowledge of him um, just because I, I think that was just a wide gap between West Coast and East Coast television. And, you know, I wasn't really familiar with Boston College or who they – who they played against uh, on a large basis. Um, but once he got here, you know, once we got into meetings and started working out together and throwing, you know, we developed a good relationship and um, just honestly the respect for each other's game and respect to, that we were trying to get better. So, I mean, that's the base of it. And, you know, I'm really glad that, you know, we had that opportunity to get better together. When they made the addition of Brown, you mentioned it a second ago, um, you were up for the challenge. How, how has maybe just having him around helped you grow as a quarterback and, and maybe take your game up a level? Yeah, it, it's honestly been the, the best thing for for me and the quarterbacks because you know he brings a level of uh, of maturity because you know he's a, he's an older guy. You know he has a good understanding of football itself. Um, he's a great guy, great friend, great teammate, and overall he's just a great addition to the team. And I think uh, you know I'm getting better because of it, and I know he is. So uh, it's honestly uh, been a great process. I'm really thankful for it. Tyler, I wanted to get your opinion of uh, some of the standout wide receivers that have been catching the ball from you and the other quarterbacks mm -hmm. uh, this fall camp and just give us an impression on what you, you're seeing from a quarterback's perspective. Yeah, um, you know, a lot of guys I'm really comfortable with so far uh, and putting a lot of work in the offseason are guys like Johnny Johnson, uh, Jalen Red, Micah Pittman, uh, Devin Williams, um, Josh Delgado. You know, the list goes on. Every single guy that is, has been asked to step up to the plate has been. And, you know, I've been working with mainly the, the first three guys that I said and Johnny, Micah, and and Jalen Red, and you know we just had a great chemistry so far. You know I feel so comfortable throwing to them. I've um, been working a lot with the tight ends and, and Hunter Campmoyer, Spencer Webb, and, and Cam McCormick. So um, I'm really excited for for what we got going on and, and how we can get better each day. With uh, five new starters on the offensive line, how much chemistry have you been able to uh, kind of develop with those guys behind the scenes the last couple of years? And 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 how were you able to keep that going during the coronavirus uh, absence? Yeah, it's honestly uh, probably been one of the greatest relationships that I've developed in, in the offseason other than the wideouts is, um, you know, they're my – Alex Forsyth, Ryan Walk, you know, they're my roommates. So 
even we're at home uh, eating dinner, we're talking about protections, talking about what's going to, you know, what we're going to do against this blitz and, and what we're going to call here. Um, and then just going in, you know, they, Alex has been a great leader for them. You know, they have their own meetings, um, you know, COVID compliance wise and when, whenever they can on their own and they're talking through, talking through ball and, and I'm just sitting in on it, trying to learn as much as I can. And, um, you know, it's good to have Steve Jones back, guys like Sala, TJ Bass, um, you know, they're working really hard. So um, I'm excited to see what they can do. You know, they obviously there are five new starters, but I, it, they're not playing like it. You know, I've been really surprised and, and please not even surprised because I've seen it in the spring and seen the off season, but I think a lot of people are surprised at least on the coaching staff because, you know, we had such a great offensive line last year, but I think, you know, what they've learned in the past and how they're applying it to themselves now is, 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 is awesome. 11 days in through fall camp. Um, what have you kind of learned about this offense? What stood out in that scrimmage for you guys? Um, I think there's, there's just a lot of opportunities for explosive plays and, and completions. You know, we spread the ball around a lot. Um, you know, everybody's going to get a touch on the ball. I think there's not really one guy that's going to be targeted or one specific play or, or down in distance. You know, there's a lot of opportunities for plays to be made. And, um, and, I, and it's honestly been really refreshing because, you know, it, it's, it's simplified reads. There's, you know, we're reading the defense a lot better. You know, I have such a comfortability with the protection and, and understanding how the defense works now just for three years in. And uh, it's always been really exciting. And um, I'm ready for what's to come.